Hey everyone, good morning. I'm doing a little bit of cleaning off on my workbench here today, which is a never ending job, but it got me thinking just about how special and important it is for us to have some sort of a space to retreat to, to um, creatively express ourselves. Do you have yourself set up with a space that's just really all about you? Um, because it's a game changer. It can really affect our overall health and well being in some positive ways. I, and I know for me personally, I have always felt very at home at some sort of a workbench. This is a place where I just feel there is so much personal potential uh, and possibility. And I have a lot of people always um, asking me, you know, they want to be more creative. They're wanting to do more things with their hands. You know, where's a good place to start? And I am always quick to recommend jewelry making. Um, and there's a few different reasons for that. Jewelry making, um, you don't need a lot of materials or supplies to work with. You don't need to have a lot of tools and you don't need to have a lot of space. So it's small and it's manageable, which is a plus. It's a great starting point and then you can kind of grow things from there, from space to tools, um, the different materials that you use, the investment that you put into it. But um, the other thing is when you're working with, um, you know, creating jewelry pieces, it also allows you to work with all kinds of different materials. Uh, you pretty much anything and everything can be turned into beautiful pieces of jewelry. And I always recommend uh, people go outside to get some of your materials and use that as a resource because I have found that when people work with uh, materials that, you know, we can go out and collect some branches and things, they don't cost anything um, and it's plentiful. And when you don't have that investment in there, people are a little bit more fearless to experiment and experiment Explore, they're less intimidated, they're less inhibited, and it's a really an excellent way for you to learn um, some of the skills and the techniques and connection methods and those uh, natural materials. You really can end up with some beautiful pieces. It opens up your mind creatively, makes you think a little bit more resourcefully. Um, you'll look at the different uh, branches, for instance, that are out there, different ways to design with them, connect with them, the different shapes um, and, and all of that, and you can create create some really interesting pendants. Uh, again, simple material to work with, but because it doesn't cost you anything, it allows you to really experiment and play uh, with different ways to design with them, different ways to connect and learn some of the techniques, practice and play around with some of the different tools that are involved. Um, you can create all kinds of beautiful beads out of branches uh, and you know explore different ways to connect them as well, different ways to embellish and paint on them. Um, smaller stones, you can also uh, collect some of those and practice uh, wire wrapping techniques. You can also use um, some uh, different special bits to drill holes in them and create pendants and connect them that way. Another great resource for some materials to work with is the home improvement store or the discount tool stores because that is where you can get just some inexpensive wires and you can learn about different gauges um, it's very budget friendly this way. You can learn about you know the softer metals, the harder metals, um, play around with some of the different ways that you can create some of your own jewelry findings, different ways to manipulate that wire. It's an inexpensive way to learn and explore. Uh, you can also find uh, you know some great materials to work with in your scrap bin for jewelry pieces, scraps of wood, uh, fabric scraps. Uh, the hardware store is also a great place for some of the little small pieces pieces of hardware that you can turn into jewelry pieces. Uh, you can even uh, explore your tackle box. There's some pieces in there, um, some swivels and all kinds of fun things that you can use as your different uh, jewelry uh, findings and accessories. And it's, again, it really opens your mind creatively. You are able to create fearlessly because you don't have to invest a lot in your materials. When it comes to the tools that you need um, to create jewelry, it can be as simple as working with just um, some small pliers. You need something to maybe cut your wire, um, to twist things, uh, a nice hammer to flatten things out as needed. Um, a multi-purpose rotary tool is also a great starter power tool. I always recommend because there are so many different attachments for it, all kinds of different bits. So you can work with all of these different materials and you can drill with it. You can sand, um, you can cut, you can do all kinds of uh, different uh, tasks 
with one tool and then again you can expand and uh, grow into better materials to work with finer wires finer metals um, bigger tools you can expand out into your space but creating um, little pieces of jewelry working with different materials and different tools and learning those techniques is just a really great creative uh, jump start for people and again it doesn't require a lot of space but I highly encourage you uh, if you are able to just set yourself up with some sort claim a spot whether it's a desk um, a little workbench in the garage uh, maybe just a small table or a counter uh, top that's really all about you because creativity is something that it just makes life better it makes us feel better it makes us better humans and ultimately it can really make the world a better place